Hello. Hi. Thanks for tuning in. It's Leela from Miss Leela Pink Journey sharing with you how I use the Baby Lock cap hoop. I already have my cap frame driver attached to my machine here. Giving you a quick overview of how I attach this cap frame driver to the machine. There's four screws, two small ones and two large ones at the bottom. I never unscrewed the large ones completely, but I place the small screws at the top, screw them tightly, not too tight, but tight enough. And then I make sure I screw the bottom ones um, back in nice and tight, but not too tight. Once you have this cap driver on your machine, you'll be able to move this actual piece uh, from side to side. It'll be movable. And then you'll find um, a couple of holes that will match up with where as you can put your screws in. And it'll, it'll be more plain once you're on the actual machine. You'll see which holes will hold your machine which holes will hold your screws and once you screw them down you'll go ahead and tighten up the bottom screws and it will screw down and attach like this and it'll make more sense to you but don't forget when you are done you want to go ahead and place those screws back in just do like that. And then you'll have it for safekeeping and it won't move around. In my hand is the cap frame for the hat. I'm showing you how you can lock and unlock once you get the hat mounted onto this piece. This piece is placed onto the cap frame mounting jig that I have attached to the stand for my machine. I have used quilting pins to pull back the sweat band on my cap. Not always necessary, but you just want to make sure that sweat band is pulled back on your cap. And then I am adding the part that will help me to line up my cap to make sure it's centered um, on this jig. And this is where the locking mechanism helps also. I'm just trying to get it straightened out in my hand here and also film at the same time. <laughs> so those two little um, binder clips, they come with this. Um, jig and they can be attached after you get your cap lined up on the actual jig so I'm just straightening things out and this clamp piece is where you want to make sure that middle section there is lined up with the middle section on your actual cap so I'll try to show you here without knocking the camera over and I want to say those pins that I have pulling the sweatband back are actually T-pins, I think they're called. So here I'm going to try to do this on camera. It's much easier if you're not on camera to line this up. Um, you just want the middle of that to line up with the middle of your cap. So I'll fiddle with it a little more and try to get this lined up. Trying to be close enough without knocking the camera over to allow you to see that the middle 
of this part is lined up with the middle of the cap. I'm now adding the cap frame onto the mounting jig. I change under the cap frame, there's the lock and unlock um, little knob and I'm lock, I've locked the knob and now you're gonna hear clicks as I push this hat frame down onto the jig to make sure it's locked in so that when I remove it to go to the machine, um, it won't get misaligned. I'm using the binder clips, which I don't always use these binder clips, but I'm just showing you how I use them to hold the hat down in case that's what you like to do. And that is what the instructions say. I will show you here that the teeth of this piece are lined up with the cap. I'm gonna remove the frame and take it over to the machine. Holding on to it. Although I have it locked, I'm still going to hold on to it. Sharing with you a close-up of the lock and unlock portion. Real quick, you'll see at the top of my screen, it shares with you where you can tell I have the cap frame attached to the machine. To insert my cap, I turn it sideways, and then I just flip it around and attach it to the actual driver. Going into the menu to pull up my actual design and add it to the screen. I'm going to use the camera function to check how it's lined up and to change the sizing. And then I'll choose the colors. Actually, the design was a little too big for this cap frame, driver, apparatus, so I made it smaller. Once I hit the set button, the actual design will automatically flip upside down because that's how the cap frame automatically reads it. Clicking on the camera function of the multi-needle machine, this helps me to line the actual design up with the line that is shown on the cap, in the middle of the cap. If it's not in the middle, I can move it from side to side to get it to where I'd like it to be. Next, I will choose colors according to how I'd like this um, design to stitch out. After I choose the colors, I'm just going to let the machine run its course and I'll let you watch the design as it stitches. When you set to embroider, the cap frame driver automatically tells the machine to drop down to a speed of 400.
where I live now. Storms come out of anywhere. Storm came out to shut my machine down. <laughs> So anyway, thanks so much for watching the video. The cap is done. I already gave it to the person who ordered it. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Please like and subscribe to my channel. Leave me a comment. I love answering questions. Take care.